What we got here today is we will be doing a cyanotype process, uh, one of the older photographic processes there is. It's a two-part solution, the A solution and the B solution, and it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So I usually do one cap pull to one cap pull so that uh, I have enough to paint two or three pieces of paper. So start by mixing two capfuls. Okay, so it's best to do this in a subdued light. In here, there's no lighting, so it's just natural light, but we have a UV filter on the roof. So take uh, a brush of some sort. I, I prefer to use a paper towel because it doesn't leave streaks. So you go ahead and you paint. Get these out of the way. Go ahead and paint your paper. Give it, you know, a nice even coat. Now the cyan type stuff is UV reactive, like I said before. So it'll take either the power of the sun, or if you have a UV light box or access to a tanning bed, you can expose your image that way as well. Some people say you can double coat this, but I haven't had much luck with double coating. It seems to wipe off what I put on the first time, so I generally just give it one nice, good, clean coat. And that seems to work best for me. I mean, you guys can experiment yourselves, see what works best for the conditions that you deal with. Because paper is different and you know, so. Okay, so now that we got that coated nicely, we're gonna put it in a dark spot to dry so that it, just in case there is some UV light in the room, that it won't expose. Okay, so what you need to do is, that since cyanotypes are a contact style print, you take a digital negative, which we have here, it is, all, it is pressed onto a animation sheet, which has guide holes down at the bottom to line everything up and keep it registered. Okay, so we are fortunate enough to have a light box with a timer, so go ahead and turn it on. And right now it's set at 6.30, so I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to 7 minutes. And like I said before, different paper, different mixtures, strengths of the mixture will affect the time. Uh, I've experimented enough to know that around 7 to 8 minutes for this light source is a good number. Go ahead and pull out my next piece of paper. Lay it down to where I can see through it. And I like how that's lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and put the clamp on. Place the foam padding down. And I'm going to hit the start button. 
as you can see the UV light kicks in and there we go We take our clamp off. Our pad. And the grew cyanotype. As you can see the dark spots are the spots that will stay once we fix it and the yellow spots will turn white. So here we go. All it takes to develop this is some cold flowing water. Go ahead and turn the water running water off after 10 minutes. Let drip dry a little bit. Bring it over to some wet paper towels. There's some dry paper towels, I should say. And place them on top, and this will help wick away some of the excess moisture. And uh, it can take for up to half an hour, 45 minutes for this to dry completely before it's ready to frame. Okay, so once we got the dry paper towels on there, let it sit for about 45 minutes before you can uh, heat press it if you have a heat press or uh, butcher paper and a cool iron 